inserting records into a database is also a kind of a function this chapter we'll focus on how to insert a data database records we all you already have a table over here our database is test users so inside this table we are going to insert records with the help of the laravel framework i have already logged in with the user radhika omkar datar and this is my landing page so your application landing page is over here if you go to the home it will redirect to dashboard which says that you are logged in now i'll create a controller so my controller name will be this is going to like i'm going to create a controller php atisan make controller user insert controller okay i have created the controller successfully now inside my project under app http controllers this is my controller that is user insert controller i'm going to open it i'm going to create a code related to that here i'll create one function that is to insert a form and the other function is to insert it to the particular record or the id like after you have inserted it would redirect to a page which says that the record has been inserted and it will say go back so let's check like how to create functions so my function first will be public function insert form okay so here it will redirect to the view so this is actually in the comment i can mention over here this is function used to redirect to particular view so my view will be a user view so that is user create or something i can maintain it as it's a user table so i'll mention every view and the controller inside that particular name so this is user create i'm going to create this view for now i'll just mention the name over here okay return view user create so this will redirect to the view now what i'll do i'll create another function this function will give all the attributes and the uh, resources like which will help to insert the records inside the table for the specified data so that is public function insert request dollar request okay here i'll see this was the like standard syntax request request because i am accepting a request from the user so as i'm going to take a name so it will be dollar name dollar request input so what is my input is nothing but username this username will be the parameter which will we will send through view as in view will mention input type equal to text name equal to username so that username will be mentioned over here and now i'll say db colon colon this is a syntax to insert inside the database db colon colon insert and here it will be my query my query is insert into users the values is name i'm going to insert name values this question mark because whatever the values is there inside the database i'm going to take that and dollar name echo i'm going to print that record is inserted successfully record inserted successfully and then i'll give to a link that link will help to go back to my particular page so i'll say echo e anchor tag href will be this function that is insert 
so href equal to insert i'll say over here click here i'll finish my anchor tag to go back okay so i've done with my controller i've created two functions that is insert and insert form now i'll go inside my resources like over there i'll create a new view so new save as inside resources views i'll save the new view that is nothing but user underscore create as now we created so that it will be a php file yes i've saved it see that it's same yes it's user create now inside user create i'll create a general html syntax this will be common so i'll just do it immediately html head body whatever titles we want to head title my title will be a uh, user management okay so i'll finish my title my head is also finished i know inside html i'll also say body okay now inside body i'm going to create a form now my form will accept an input type so that input type will be nothing but text so i'll say first of all form action will do my action will be create method will be post i don't want to specify it inside the url so it will be method as post method will be post so i'll finish this form now inside form i'll create a input type and input type equal to hidden this is like to mention the post action perfectly input type equal to hidden name equal to token value equal to php echo csrf underscore token this is like to maintain the hidden attribute of the form okay so this i have done 